Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Chicago build 58S. Uh, this is the earliest known version of Chicago that's been leaked on the internet. There are older versions of Chicago that are known to exist, the most um, prominent of those being the usability testing builds, uh, which some really blurry footage for showed up that I think was officially released by Microsoft, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, the first thing that I want to show off is a old version of the setup. Uh, this isn't used by normal means, but if, you, but if you type in this command in the Windows 95 or Chicago ROM, you get this early version of the setup. A lot of this is obviously taken from Windows 3.1, you can see on the setup screen it says this setup program for Windows 3.1 prepares Windows to run on your computer and for the most part it does work okay so as you saw back there I couldn't actually get the uh, whole thing to work but um, here are some screenshots of the um, other part of the setup that I couldn't get to work uh, but here is the actual setup used so instead of taking us to the sort of blue screen not really sure how to call it. Uh, it takes us straight to the GUI interface. Help is blurred out. Um, I think in later versions uh, you can actually click on that, but uh, it just says uh, sorry, not not implemented yet. It's pretty bare bones compared to the final Windows 95 setup. For example, there's um, no really op there's no like screen to select the features to install and. Um, there's no sort of fancy slideshow or anything while it installs, uh, but uh, I mean it works. Alright, so this is what you see when you first log on, there's a lot going on here. Um, Alright, so you, you've got the option to install a printer, I'm just going to take that out. And um, here it is, this is the Windows Chicago desktop. The first thing that I find rather interesting is this message that appears on Startup. I, I find this interesting because there's not actually anything like this in any other version of Windows, or any beta version of Windows really. Well, let's start off with programs. If we go into here, uh, you may notice there are a few different applications here. Uh, we've got Net few ones that don't work at all, like Netwatcher and WinMeter. Uh, but you may also notice that there are two notepads and clocks. Uh, so if we open up like clock 32, you can see it's just the clock. Um, clock, for some reason, is the same, the same clock. Uh, so why are there two different versions of clock and why is one named clock 32? Um, well, this was, Windows 95 was, I guess, sort of when Windows was transitioning from a 16-bit to a 32-bit operating system. Uh, so these, these uh, regular notepad versions are these 16-bit versions, but Notepad Note32 is actually a 32-bit port of Notepad. Another thing that's worth noting is this WinBug Report tool. Uh, this was used by beta testers to, I guess, report bugs and whatnot. So let's just test this out right here. Uh, loop. All right. So we go to next, and um, you can see, I'm not too sure what operating system version means, it lists the versions of MS-DOS here, but I don't actually remember, anyway, uh, you can see, Nokia made computers, 
Or are you insinuating that you could run this on a Nokia? Okay. I should probably look these up uh, sometime. Uh, tell us about any additional hardware you're using. You're using uh, the uh, Sony PlayStation 2. Mouse drive inversion. Mouse. Uh, noise. Alright, so tell us about your network hardware and software. Again. I don't think this is actually going to reach anyone. Uh, it's it's broken. I op opened the the window, but I d went too fast and I broke it. Right, report to disk. Okay. Oh, they give you something to do. Oh, okay. Huh. Chicago Beta Forum Library 3 on CompuServe or Mail on a disk to the address below. That probably doesn't exist anymore. Don't email to them. We've got the games. These are just the regular games from Windows 95. I think, I'm pretty sure Free Cell is actually a new game. Unfortunately, I never learned how to play free cell. So this is this uh, yep wahoo. Of course, no one can go without minesweeper. Of course, no one can go without solitaire. Control panel's pretty interesting because there's a few things here that are very different. You've got the uh, desktop properties which are different. Uh, you can you know change the background. There are a few desktops here that aren't in the final version. Uh, you've got the uh, warning wallpaper which you know says under construction that's on the desktop right now and uh, you've got you've got chicago.bmp uh, as you can see, it's a pretty high quality image. Uh, unfortunately, whenever you try and open another 256 color image, uh, the desktop breaks. Uh, so we've got a few screensavers here. These are all from Windows 3.1, but this sort of UI for them isn't. Um, instead of showing like a demonstration of what the screensaver looks like on the screen, it just shows this icon. It changes depending on what screensaver is chosen for example flying windows and starfield simulation sort of had the same sort of flying through icon and marquee and mystify i'm not sure if this has the same behavior in windows 95 but when you click on the beta screen it's usually blank but if you do it on here it actually does it on the desktop i find that pretty neat it does leave a trail though so, you know, the desktop does gradually get, you know, covered up in Bazer. Another weird thing, screen metrics. This isn't in the final version, and I'm not actually sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be, like, DPI settings. You can see here, you know, you can change from, like, small fonts to large fonts. You know, I'm guessing, like, this is how big windows are. I'm not sure. But um, this is that's usually somewhere in monitor settings, I think. All right, well, uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if there's any other Windows betas you want me to cover in any future videos, be sure to leave a comment. I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Um, anyway, uh, bye.